end of the 70s and in the 80s. In the 80s. So 80s it was last time. 1980. It means minimum 25, 26 years ago. I came several times. So uh, 79, almost each two years I came. I play in Leningrad. Mm -hmm. I play in Moscow. I played in several times in several places. In, uh, I notice too many cars now <laughs> in the street. I think the spirit uh, will remain, but uh, it's changing too quickly. The Russian spirit is transforming a little too fast into a kind of modernity. All societies are developing, all must develop. Mm -hmm. Every man must develop with time, with ages, with experience. I think that uh, the only thing that remains is that a great respect for culture and roots, mm -hmm. Russian roots in this case. Mm -hmm. I go back to Dargominsky, to Glinka, even back to medieval uh, church music, for example, which is very, very important here in the Orthodox uh, religion and so on, so on, so on. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, literature, especially, and uh, the great movement of revolution in art in the 1917, I can say musicians today, young musicians, should read uh, Babel, Essening, Alexander Bloch. Uh, Eisenstein in the films, uh, Meyerhold in the theater. Mm -hmm. See, the blue writer, the, the blue writer is one of the greatest movement in, in revolution. Also, architectural designers, which are flared out, but anyway. Pevsner, Lipschitz, Chagall, Malevich, what I'm going to say. This is important hundred times more than reading, of course, also reading um, Walt Whitman, a genius, or Edgar Allan Poe, fantastic. <laughs> but this could be together, see, or James Joyce, or whatever. I prefer, really, it's not a, pro it's not a compliment, but I prefer Russian musicians, because the training, the technique of Russian musicians is enormous and very good. It's, uh, it's similar to British and better than German. Mm -hmm. And what uh, way about Japanese? <laughs> Japanese are... Uh, they are very serious because they adore Occidental culture. Mm -hmm. The Japanese are always, because they adore our culture, they are trembling with emotions. And emotions are too big sometimes. And this is abnibilis. It's, it's a very strange word in English. It's early English. It means that you cannot see. It's like you're blind by the sun. Mm -hmm. Occidental culture is the very strong sunshine for the Japanese and, and uh, Oriental people, but especially Japanese, not so much Chinese. Chinese are more international in this well, for a long time, for a long time. So you are quite happy with this change? I'll, I'll tell you why, yeah. because I conduct uh, Yamashita several times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In one of our concerts, Yamashita played four pieces. Three without amplification, Arab ways and so many concerts, and one uh, contemporary Japanese with amplification and so on. He's a brave guitarist, but I prefer Russian musicians. Because they are deep involved 
with music. No, no, it's, it's, it is true. It's, uh, because the technique, because the, the, the tradition of, co of conservatory is very, very uh, severe. And, uh, for example, I studied in Juilliard, New York, some time, and uh, I remember a tremendous discipline, but at the same time uh, was a, a, a kind of American way of life in the, in the discreet uh, non-confidence and in this great challenge of the uh, student with the professor. And uh, sometimes the professor was <laughs> imagined like Oistrach, mm -hmm. is for example, Joseph Fosch. Fosch is a professor as good as, uh, as Igor Oist, um, David Oistrach was, because I knew them all. I conducted the song, Igor Oyster, I conducted with my orchestra many years ago. I am a very close friend of Fibakov, mm -hmm. Vladimir. He's one of the better, best uh, violin players in, the, in a generation past, now, the second generation after, after me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I suggest to the young generation to get involved with culture and hear a lot of it. Are you guitarist? Okay, please, hear piano, hear string quartet, hear symphony, hear uh, heavy metal, hear Steve Vai, um, uh, everyone. Hmm?